Okay, so now that you have all five parts made, you made them all different colors. It's all about assembling it. And for those of you in my class doing this assignment, this is the first time you're assembling anything. And this should really be the first new thing on this Onshape assignment. So we go to Onshape. What you should have down here on the bottom right now is your block one done, your block two, three, four, and five. Then you should have an assembly over here that's unused. But let's say you accidentally deleted it. So I'm going to delete it right here. All you have to do to add an assembly is click on the plus button and say create assembly if it was gone. Okay. So I'm going to do just a few blocks at a time each time instead of just throwing them all in the same place. So there's going to be main, two main buttons we're using on this. It's the insert button for our parts and then our fasten mate right there. So I'm going to insert. I'm going to say block one. I'm going to just throw it right there. Hit block two. Throw it right there. Hit my check mark. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we need to get these two together. And this little nub that sticks in right here should be about right here where my mouse is. So I'll just go ahead and tell you that's how you would put it together. So we're going to go to Fasten Mate. And for that to work, that means I need to have this face right here. So I'm going to click on it. Oops. See how you can click on different sections of it. Make sure you click in the center. And then what does it connect to? Right here, the center of that. Okay, so it's about flipping and turning, so turns and flips. So I'm just going to turn it around a few times. That's clearly not working, so I'm going to flip it. Turn it a few times. That's not working. Flip it again. Turn it a few times. Not there. Flip it again. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to hit my check mark. You can see how I got that little nub right there in the middle like I told you guys to put it there. So that's how part one and two go together. I'm going to do part four before part three because I like to build from the bottom up. So I'm gonna hit my X button here. I'm gonna insert block four. Just throw it right over here. Check mark that. So this block is going to be on the bottom part and that's why I'm doing that before three. This little section right here, the head that sticks up, gets stuck into that hole right there. So I'm gonna to go to fasten mate. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to click right here in the center of that. And that goes right there. Okay, I can already tell if I turn this, it's not going to work though. So I need to do a flip. Well, that's it actually right there. So I only had to flip it once. And based on the amount of times I turned it, maybe it would have looked like this the first time. I would have just turned it until it worked. Okay, so check mark it. So flip it and turn it until it works. That's how part four should be applied right here. Now we're just going to add part three and then part five, and we will be done with this. So I'm going to insert block three, drop it right there. Check mark that. Okay. On shape does have a problem sometimes trying to fit one right here because that's a big long leg. So I'm actually going to use this face right here when I try to fasten them together. So fasten mate. This right here is going to be my section that gets attached to that one right there. So click here, click here. It didn't hit the first one. I pressed it. Okay. Let's try that again. Fasten mate. That goes to that. Here we go. Okay. I didn't acknowledge the first time I pressed it. So we'll turn it a few times. That's not working. Flip it. Turn it. Turn it. Nope. Flip it. There it is. Okay, so now part three is where it needs to go. Part five, and then we're done. So recenter that, isometric view it. Insert. Block five. Just drop it over here. Check mark it. This part should be really easy. You see how that little nose right here sticks in? That's going to go right there on the orange part. It's orange for me at least. Okay, so fasten mate. That The center of that right here is going to go to the center of that part right there. Turn it a few times. Nope. So let's flip it. There it is. Check mark it. That is my assembled cube. So I'm going to go to isometric. I'm going to take this screenshot right here. 
shows that I got all five parts. They're all five different colors. And then I'm going to turn it in on this canvas page, right? So make sure on your screenshot, I should be able to see that it's your name logged in up here in the top right. And then I should see your final outcome. And I'll be honest, if you did this cube and it looks this perfect, there's no reason to give me a block one, two, three, four, and five screenshot. So if you can give me this perfect assembly video picture, everything right there is done. Okay. So make sure you understand how you're getting graded. You get five points basically for having each part done, five points for ch changing the colors. So they're all five different colors. And then 10 points for assembling it. So make sure you get that turned in.